Hello friends, in this video we will explore the concepts of ggplot2. So before that let us see how we, you can install the ggplot2 package. The simplest command is install.packages ggplot2 and there are other ways of installation but the simplest one is install.packages and ggplot2 and it has to be in the quote, quotation mark, okay, double quote. So once your package is installed, the first thing like before using ggplot2 we need to import that into R. So the first for that we need to use this command library and ggplot2 okay so you can give code and without code that is fine library ggplot2 so this way this package after installation will be imported into our r system so now how ggplot2 works so very simple it has three component the first is the data which we want to plot then the second component is the aesthetic then third is layer so we need three things to make the plot so plot equal to data plus aesthetic plus the layer okay the layer so what is the data so the data must be in the form of data frame so if you are familiar with r so basically data frame is a kind of data structure so it's a 2d form where each row will be one observation and each columns can be one feature so in this example that we will be working this is a gene data frame so basically each row corresponds to one gene and the different columns like what is pathway tissue gdr mutation like that so each column will be one property so it has to be in the 2d form and it has to be a data frame so that kind of uh, you know uh, data structures uh, the ggplot2 expects so once we have the data the next thing is aesthetic and aesthetic is generally it is generally called what is aesthetic aesthetic is the beauty okay so there are different aesthetics are available like x y color is an aesthetic property feel is aesthetic size shape weight like that so in the second stage what we need to tell which column of my data should corresponds to which aesthetic so let's say let's say we want to draw an xy scatter plot then we can say that d1 let's take d1 on x axis and d2 on y axis and color is with respect to the pathway or let's say size is with respect to d6 so in this case we are mapping our data a column of the data with re, with which aesthetic so the widely used uh, the commonly used uh, aesthetics are generally x y color fill fill is like filling let's say box plot is there or bar plot is there how do you fill it then size of the line or symbols shape alpha is the transparencies and weight is the line thickness so that kind of aesthetics are there we simply need to map the column with respect to the which aesthetics we want so once we have that uh, mapping is done the next we need is like what kind of plot we want so that is the which layer we want okay so we can add different layers like let's say box plot density plot no bar plot column plot and for scatter plot we you have to we we need to use geometric under geom geom under, uh, underscore point okay sorry so this point function is for scatter plot and you can add additional layer like draw a smooth line or trend line and similarly other functions are there so the data plus aesthetic plus layer these three will now give us a actual plot okay so the syntax is very simple okay so this is the syntax so first is like uh, ggplot is the function name and see although the library name is ggplot2 but the function name is ggplot okay so then you have to give one parenthesis the first uh, you have to pass the data in the first argument then comma then here inside this green aes function you see aes function function is generally with open and close bracket within that we have to provide all the kind of mapping between this column with this aesthetic then once that is done this part is finished then you can add additional layer, like point layer plus let's say smooth layer plus text so like that we can add multiple layer of these one by one okay so let's say if you want to draw a simple scatter plot okay so then what we have to say this is the actual command so you say ggplot then first is let's have our data is stored in this data variable so you pass that data frame here data comma aes bracket then you say x equal to d1 that means x is the aesthetic and that has to map with the d1 and comma y should be mapped with the d2 so now we have specified x and y and then so now you have the x axis and y axis ready then you say plus add a layer geometric point so that means this is this will draw the scatter plot uh, between the x and y axis or d1 versus d2 scatter plot we will see so this is the simple command by which we have the data aesthetic and the layer okay so these three will form the plot we will see by the hands on okay but coming to so before that let's see what kind of data uh, we will be using in this entire video series so this is a sample uh, data set and uh, uh, it is just hypothetical examples this data are you know, randomly populated okay so each column sorry each row is one gene so and there are some 5000 genes are there randomly um, uh, uh, like the genes are named 
and which pathway they belong there are six seven pathways so randomly it is assigned like some genes pathway one two three four and which tissue they belong like uh, means like let's say they are highly overexposed like breast cancer or brain breast cancer skin cancer like that and gdr is like gene to disease relationship whether that gene has uh, any evidence that they are associated with some disease so no evidence limited evidence strong evidence like that some uh, parameters are there and the total number of mutation across is uh, some number of samples uh, random 645 mutation 2052 mutation like that some mutation number of mutation that uh, their gene is uh, uh, they, we can see and these are the some five six samples uh, from the you know um, cohort study and where the gene expression is there okay so with this example data you can see that there are uh, two kinds of variables are there right so these pathway tissue gdr and uh, these three are mainly the categorical data type right so that means there are categories are there pathway has some seven categories tissue has some five six categories so these are the categorical variable which we can map to like color you know uh, this kind of aesthetics we can map and these are the numeric data points so which are in the continuous scale like d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 these are the continuous scale the mutation so yes so some plot are mainly we can use for continuous data and some plots we can use the categorical data to plot so it is important to understand what kind of uh, columns you have whether that is categorical or that is that are the continuous thing okay so yeah so first let's draw our first plot let's do a simple scatter plot so we have to first load the library and we will import the file so let's say it is a tsb file that data in the column separated file tab separated file so using the basic r command read dot table so we have to first tell the file name then we say separated by tab and the file has header okay the first row is the header and with the simple command we can import uh, the data frame so if you are familiar with r so you will know this command simple and once that is done we say ggplot and the same what i explained we will uh, we will do the hands on okay so let's switch to our r okay so first thing as i said uh, we need to load the library and it is a ggplot2 is the library so now the library is loaded so now i will be using this command read dot table and first parameter i will say the file name so I have this file gene.tsb over here and since it is a tab separated I say you know tab separated and then I say that I have the header is there in my data so header and assign the store the result into df. So now you can simply just check head means few snapshot like genes, pathway, tissue, GDR, mutation like that and what is the dimension total uh, there are some 5000 rows are there that means 5000 genes and 11 columns or 11 uh, you know features are there for this data set okay so you can also just check this uh, view means this will view the entire data okay okay so now we have uh, loaded the library and our data is there in the df format okay so first let's do ggplot okay so what will happen simply type the ggplot command so you will see that a blank canvas is created okay so nothing is drawn so let's pass first thing we need to pass our data which is there in the df variable okay so let's see what happens still nothing that means plot is not yet done now you add an aesthetic okay so now what is the aesthetic aesthetic is what you say x equal to d1 and y equal to d2 okay so now you see what will happen now x and y axis is changed d1 and d2 is there so now the axis scaled is there like this d1 is from 0 to 5 and d2 is let's say 0 to 12 so that scale is done and some grids will open but still no layer we have not yet added the layer okay so if you are confused about uh, let's say how the mapping is happen so we have the d1 column so we say that x coordinates or x axis to map to d1 and y axis to be d2 now important thing to note that you do not have to give quotation mark over here double quote don't give double quote because uh, since the ggplot2 already provided the data here so ggplot2 consider this column name is the variable so don't put a quote mark so directly you can use d1 and d2 so now we have our data and we have our aesthetic mapping so now let's uh, sorry let's uh, you know add one layer so you say plus then simply say jom underscore point function you use okay so now you will see that our first plot is drawn between d1 and d2 scatter plot okay let's say if you want to do the scatter plot between x equal to d1 but y is equal let's say mutation okay so you simply say copy this and just say which one you want as a mutation so this way you see now this is the plot the scatter plot between x1 uh, sorry d1 versus mutation so how the it will look like so it's very simple right so in two three commands what we saw like 
first you need to load the library then you import the data once and then the command is simple like data frame aesthetic mapping and then you specify the lab so thanks so in the next video we will mainly focus on scatter plot and different thing uh, like how different kinds of plots we will see particularly we will focus on scatter plot i hope this video was useful and yes please uh, support the channel thank you